Now there can be a bit of overlap between lists, segments, and tags. So start to think of lists like folders that your subscribers live in. It's like a general space for a large amount of people. Then you've got segments, which are like dividers, and then tags would act as labels to mark each subscriber. It sounds a bit complicated now, but once you're up to speed on how your particular system does this, it will make sense in no time. When it comes to tags, I don't suggest you apply them individually as that will take way too long. Um, this sort of thing should be automated within your email system. Every time your subscriber performs an action, your software is going to apply the appropriate tags automatically. Uh, your tagging system can also be used to trigger automations, but we're going to cover that later on. So let's talk about organizing tags. Uh, depending on what you want to do in the future is going to determine how you set up your tagging system. So do you want to email people based on interest? Do you want to recommend products to them based on their purchase history? Uh, do you want to trigger automations? Or do you want to just track their movements across your site and tag them appropriately? Get yourself a piece of paper and write down the types of tags you'll be using and what their function is going to be in future campaigns. Okay, so now you've got a long list of tags on how you're going to define subscribers. Now we need to organize these in a documented format. So open up a spreadsheet, maybe Google Docs or Excel, and start to type in this list of tags. Lay them out so you can visually see what each one means and what it's going to define. And then bunch and categorize those into if they're just labels or if they're going to trigger future events. Before we move on, make sure your spreadsheet is super organized. Uh, make it so clear that anybody can come in, look at your spreadsheet and within minutes figure out exactly what each tag means and what kind of action it performs in the future.